not creepy at all. Food baby. Hey y'all, it's your girl Adriana and today I'm back with another video. So here I am wearing this dress which I have no occasion whatsoever to wear to, sitting amidst a massacre caused by this video. Should I clean while filming? No. So I've been the side character of my own life for the longest time. I tend, tended, so I dash to relate to the supporting character, which is maybe the main character's best friend. How do I define this? A supporting character is a character in a narrative that is not the focus of the primary storyline, but appears or is mentioned in the story enough to be more than just a minor character or a cameo appearance. So basically, they are a crucial part of the story, but they never take the entire spotlight. So I decided to make this video to show you the outfits and style of 8 different side characters from 8 different TV shows and movies. Let's get started. So first up, we have Jenny Humphrey from Gossip Girl. So Jenny Humphrey went from sweet and innocent to crazy ambitious emo teen to authoritative mean girl to several other things. Nobody ever leaves a sleepover. Well, I guess there's first for everything. The most noticeable change in her transformation is her clothing. She went from soft girl to e-girl real quick. So her color palette went from pastels and pink to black and grey mostly. And I took a little inspiration from each to come up with this look. Hi, my name is Caroline Forbes, and I am a good vampire, and I don't just go around killing people. Mm. I'd rather die of thirst, but thanks. Disclaimer, if I get a little too invested when I'm talking about it, that's because I'm currently watching The Vampire Diaries. So you mean to say you've finished seven seasons of DVD in one week? Next question. Will you guys pick up the tempo? This is a pageant. Not a funeral. Caroline Forbes is a mean girl who is also a control freak and a badass. Now, well, you don't have to flatter me because I already know that. In the beginning, she was just a normal girl who was a little desperate for a boyfriend and just happened to be one of the protagonist's best friends. But, spoiler alert, after she turned into a vampire, she just became this confident person who is very scary in a very good way. <laughs> Told ya. Okay, I guess now I'm done. I'm a witch. And don't we all know it? is Teresa from Barbie Life in the Dream House. Teresa is a major mood. Yeah, two veggie lovers pizzas with double tofu. Mmm, choco lemon. I said what I said. Although she wears like three outfits in the entire show of 75 episodes. Seriously, who am I? She is a totally chaotic, loyal goofball who is weirdly obsessed with cupcakes. Don't even think about it. Her outfits mainly consist of pink, Yellow, denim, skirts, or jackets. And I'm better than you. Next 
Next up is Mindy Chen from Emily in Paris. And bon appetit him. The major part Mindy played in the show was being an amazing friend who provided the right advice at the right time. Chinese people are mean behind your back. French people, mean to your face. She was a familiar face to Emily in an unfamiliar place, which is Paris. But did you think that I was French? Honestly, no, I was being polite. She has a straightforward and strong personality, which is shown by her bold and pretty fashionable outfit choices. It's the fifth one, I think. And it's Petra from Jane the Virgin. But honestly, I don't even know how to say it, but spit it out, Jane. During the show, Petra went from a character you would loathe to a person you could look up to. From a sabotager to a business savvy. So I am done with nice. Right now the camera is dangerously close to my face. Anyways, now that I think of it, most of the characters I chose have somehow transformed into stronger versions of themselves during the course of the show. Her style is mainly formal chic and her outfits radiate confidence. She wears pastels, blues and floral prints and it's just a spiritual experience to watch her morph into this crazy strong figure amidst her extremely complicated life to say the least. And this isn't your first time being a person of interest in a murder investigation. is Jan Sien from the Mean Girls. She's a bit of a badass as she stands separate from all the divisions created by high school hierarchy. Asian nerds, cool Asians, varsity jocks, the greatest people you will ever meet, and the worst. Beware of the plastic. But at the same time, as she criticizes and takes revenge on these Mean Girls, her tactics are just the same as theirs i.e. basically she's also a plastic without the pink. Cold, shiny, hard plastic. Her personality, just like her outfit, stands out among all the others. I don't know why I did it. I guess it's probably because I've got a big lesbian crush on you. Suck <laughs> on that! is Janice from Friends. In the series, she is Chandler's ex-girlfriend who is impossible to get rid of from the friends' lives and from our minds. You call me when this goes in the pooper. Hood laugh. <laughs> <laughs> is unique to say the least. This ain't a race, but I still take for I cut you out of all my pictures, so if you want, I have a bang with just your heads. I love her confidence and the instant effect she has when she walks into a room and did not get me started on the Carol Baskin outfits. Most of her outfits consist of leopard print, red, bright, bold prints and colors. Cue the posing clips. red dress pants because they would really complete the look. Our last character of the day is Sheryl Blossom from Riverdale. Greetings. She went from classic it girl of the school who walked around like she owned it from a very scary bow and arrow wielding version of the former. Told you I was in the mood for some hell raising. Her color palette exclusively consists of variations of black and red. I invented red. I am red. So this is the last posing clip of this video. Let's go.
to make it to the very end of this video and that is it for this week okay bye